right, boys and girls, it is time once again for the Guys Weekend Podcast. I am Josh Shane, along with, as always, the lovable love machine, Brandon Parks. Hello. It is me. Hello. Is it me? Uh, So, the wind continues to wreak havoc on the Midwest. I barely made it. Uh, I'm a survivor. Yeah. Um, you know, Lord willing, they, they came for me. It was like uh, it was like Jesus was telling me something yesterday. Uh, <clears throat> that he, he he told me I need to you know put it away more. Uh, not not maybe not not hold an umbrella like a Mary fucking Poppins. Yeah. Um, you know. Trying to do me a favor, I wasn't. Re- I wasn't really listening, uh, but I braved it and I made it. I'm a survivor. It's great. It's fantastic. Uh, I'm just hoping that when the insurance comes out to look at my house, it's good enough to to fix the whole roof and not just the shingles that are missing in the leak. Listen, you know, I, I I walked out there yesterday after the the bulk of the storm passed, mm-hmm. and I got I got shingles all throughout my yard, right, and I keep. I keep telling the wife, "Stop freaking out. These are not these are not ours. Uh, our our roof is gray, just installed two years ago. Just something a couple like years that. Ago. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, these aren't ours. Ours are ours are perfectly gray. There's red speckles and what we, what we found. I'm pretty sure it's the neighbors. She's like, no, no, no. We have to check. We have to check. So I get up on the hill because I don't have a I don't have a ladder that. I yeah. feel comfortable yeah. getting up to the <laughs> roof on. So I got up on the on the road. I have an ele- elevated road, so I'm able to see, you know, the majority of both. Fuck both over sides your of the house roof. and into the next yard with how steep your fucking driveway and yard is. Yeah, the only thing I can't see is the back side of the house that 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 yeah. um, that angle of the roof. But I'm like, there's nothing missing. There's nothing missing. She, I was like, did you go upstairs? And check the neighbor's roof from our bedroom, and she was like, "Well, yeah, they're, they it still looked good." I was like, "Babe, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure <laughs> that they hurried out of their house in the middle of this windstorm with their newborn baby because they were losing their roof." <laughs> yeah. They they hurried out of there like the like the guy's dad came and picked them up, took them away, and then came back. Is this the um, house? If you're looking at your house to your left, to the left? No, it's to the right. To the, the right. Okay, yeah. the one that where I parked to pick up the lawnmower. Yeah. Okay. Shit. So I mean, there were probably like a quarter of their roof, the the quarter of their shingles from their roof was in my yard. Damn. Wow, that's that's quite a bit. Yeah, we lucked out and didn't have that that big of an issue. I mean, we we de- we're definitely missing some, um, but yeah, shit. Sightings missing from from a I couple thought, houses. I thought I was gonna lose a piece of <clears throat> my lean to roofing. Mm-hmm. I texted Tyson. I was going out there to make some uh, throw some food on the smoker, and I just kept hearing this metal rattle, and I'm like, oh, like I figured it was my a fire pit because I took the ring off of it and I set it on the patio because just in case. And I look out there and there's just a sheet of aluminum just pull, 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 just flutter and I'm like, oh no, this thing's gonna, this thing's gonna take flight and it's gonna end up somewhere. It's gonna rip holes through it. And just, I was texting Tyson, I'm like, dude, do we have any more of those screws left? We're gonna have to probably sink a couple more in there. But luckily, I checked this morning and uh, all is well. I went out at the ass crack of dawn to cook up another wonderful breakfast on the Traeger Flat Rock, which, by the way, tomorrow marks four weeks since the aforementioned. Still, still no contact. Still no contact. <laughs> looks looks like it's uh, finders keepers there, bud. Yeah, so I don't I don't know what to do. Looks I, like, you know, looks like the cabins are getting a flat top. Yeah, I mean it, it, it's. Part of me wants to do the responsible thing and reach out and be like, hey, you know, you guys are supposed to get a hold of me. 
Oh, you or or you take it up to the cabin and be like, "Hey, I sent this back. They yeah. came and picked it up." I mean, as far if... as I, I as far as I know, they came and picked it up. I wasn't here when they did it, and it was gone when I came back. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's all I can do. It's not. Hopefully, none of those people listen to this podcast. Yeah, probably not. You know, uh, hopefully not. But I, I'm thinking, all right. Well, if it goes another week, I mean, hell, that's it's not my responsibility to reach out to the company that's supposed to be calling me to pick something up, right? I nope. mean, cool. Looks like, uh, yeah, that's sweet. So we'll we'll see how that goes. It was damaged in the windstorm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it blew clean off the patio. You guys didn't pick it up in time. <laughs> I just I just scrapped it. It's gone. Bought me uh, a case of beer. We it. have uh I, I was without power for about I don't know, six hours yesterday. Ooh, that's still fun. Well started uh making a trip over to my over to my parents and then as I made a trip I was like, ah, let me I I need a charger for my phone. You know, went swung back over to the house. When I got back over to the house, power was back on. Oh, sweet. The uh, I had I had a fun, <laughs> fun time with my phone. So it's I don't know. I've had this thing for a few years. I had to go into work today for a few hours, and uh, my phone has been dead since yesterday. I could not get it to charge, and I had three quarters of a metric fuck ton of lint stuffed in my charging port so i took it up to the apple store and let me tell you that place is never not busy like it was just slammed there were people everywhere and they sit you at like a little rink-a-dink table with people you don't know and they're trying to like make conversations with you like oh ho, ho, what, what's wrong with your stuff I'm like it doesn't work I, I don't know i mean we're all here for the same reason right get our shit fixed all right cool Got the small talk. I'm just here to get my shit cleaned. So as I'm sitting there, this older lady's talking to me, and there's a kid across from me who I believe to be on the spectrum somewhat. This kid has an absolute meltdown and just starts motherfucking his dad who's sitting next to him. You broke my phone. This is bullshit. Just screaming. I'm like, oh, no. I'm like, this is, I'm not getting paid to take care of this guy. The dad just gets up and leaves. How old's the kid? He's probably like 17. Uh, he's he's still not old enough to get knocked out. He, he might have been eighteen. He might have been a little bit older. But like, the dad just left. Like, just boop, clean out of the store, walked away. I'm like, oh, I'm like, maybe he's going to talk to somebody to see how much longer it's going to be. And I'm kind of like looking around. Not that I gave a shit, but I'm like, listen, your kid comes with me. I'm knocking him out. Just letting you know. Hey, if it, like seventeen, eighteen, he's old enough to walk back home. Fuck that kid. Shit. So we're sitting there. I don't know. Probably ten, fifteen minutes go past. Dad's not back. Kid gets up and he goes over to the check-in lady and was like, hey, how much long is it going to be? And then they send somebody over to the table. They immediately start talking to him. Dad comes walking back in and sits down and goes, you're acting like an absolute shithead. He goes, you need to knock it the fuck off. And the kid just kind of like looks at him and goes, but my phone's broke. And the guy's like, oh, is your phone okay? Let's get you checked in here. And I'm like, oh, man. You, you saved what could have potentially been. I'd have, I'd have chucked that motherfucker across the <laughs> fucking building. <laughs> so he, they started remedying or whatever. They're going through the whole thing. And the guy kind of looks at me and he's like, oh, are you Brandon? And I'm like, yeah. Another dude comes over and he goes, what seems to be the problem? I said, I got stuff in my hole. He goes, all right, well, you mind if I take it back there and clean it up real quick? I'm like, no, go ahead. He comes back out not even 10 minutes later. And he goes, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in there. It goes in. It works. I'm like, sweet. I'm out. Just glaring daggers at me. Just, I can't believe you. And I'm like, yeah, fuck this guy. So they end up leaving. And this lady sits down with her daughter. Um, and it was just like one of those comments you hear. And you're just like, Ugh. like, did you really have to like, <laughs> and the kid working like he, yeah, he meant no offense by anything. They sit down and they're like, oh, how are you guys doing? Uh, what seems to be the issue today? And she goes, he's like, well, can I get your name? And she's like, well, it's Renee, but I prefer not to be called a guy. I'm sitting there and I'm like, what the fuck? He said, hey, how are you guys today? I'm like, really? You're going to fucking get all bent out of shape? And she's like, maybe we need somebody else to wait on us. And I'm like, oh, 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 you're lucky I'm working. I would have been like, you know what, bitch? 
You look like a fucking man. Five o'clock shadows coming in. Was she talking like this? No, she was. She was an older uh, African American woman. Uh, Call me ma'am. Yeah. So I was like, ah, thank God I'm leaving right now because I can't be in the Apple the Apple ecosystem any longer mm. because she's a she's a type of woman that's got a baby daddy. She was like sixty. 50 or 60. I mean, she might. I don't know. She was in there with a younger girl. Could have been. But she just had that stick up her ass that everybody was on her nerves. And down with Whitey. And the, and it wasn't even Whitey that was waiting on her. It was a little Indian kid. The tech support Indian, not like Dot Indian. Not, you know, Chief Wahoo over here. But I'm still I'm like, damn, man. This, I don't want to be here anymore. So we walked next door and we got... Got some dinner at the rail. Uh, enjoyed a nice hamburger. A really expensive hamburger. It's like $18. Now, wow. I'll tell you what, though. Places like uh, like Red Robin and shit like that, they're getting up there. It's like $15 for a fucking oh, burger man. at that place anymore. The, o- the only way I get my money's worth out of it now is the, you know, the bottomless. 17 pounds of bottomless fries. Yeah. The fr- yeah. <laughs> yeah. Potato take, fame in my ass. I take them to the bank. Then they try to, it pissed me off the most about today's Red Robin. Is they, try to get one, they try to get one over on you. I don't know if you've been to Red Robin lately. Nah, it's been but, a couple years. You know, the portion sizes of the fries used to be like. Oh, yeah. You know, big, you know. You now, now you go there, it's like. It's a fucking. It's like yeah. my. It's like my. my I, I could fit it all in my butthole in one sitting. You know. <laughs> yeah, that's. They, yeah, that's ridiculous. And then they look at you like, "Oh, you want more fries?" And then yeah, the nerve, right. the nerve, this, and it's the steak fries. The nerve of these fucking oh, people. Yeah. When my my wife and kids ask for uh, sweet potato fries, they get like three pounds of that shit. It's because nobody likes sweet potatoes. <laughs> They're just. Yeah, we can give these away. Fuck it. Yeah, that's. That's wild. Out of all the things to go up, like, I guess beef goes up all the time. Hmm. That's fair. Well, yeah, beef. We're it's a uh, it's a commodity dis- distribution crisis. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Brazil. Well, I mean, you know, it has nothing to do with our distribution here, even though it's ninety. No, it has, n- has nothing to do with farms going up in smoke around here. You know. No, that's that's all another conspiracy. All another conspiracy. It has nothing to do with the. Uh, it's like it's like the like the people that gain from illness are also the ones that like make the illnesses. Yes. Uh, did you see? Let me. I want to make sure I get this right. Um, it was something new under the crust of the earth. Oh, they found the, that ocean. The ocean. Yeah. The ocean. That's they said is uh, yeah bigger than all the bodies of water combined. On the surface. That's a lot of fucking water. Yeah. Yeah. So, what? Like, it's insane. I didn't read the article all the way, so I'm going to click on it here and just kind of... I don't understand what the picture is. Do you imagine what kind of chemicals are in that water below our surface? Like, there's got to be, like, sulfur and... Oh, yeah. Magnesium and shit. Three times bigger than so it's seventy one percent of the Earth is covered in water thanks global warming. And then in two thousand fourteen, they discovered that they have a reservoir of hidden water beneath our feet. So four hundred miles. How deep's the Marina Trench? Four hundred feet. I don't really know how deep we've drilled. On regular ground, but I don't think we've gotten past at like seven hundred feet. All right, so this water's four hundred feet or four oh four hundred miles, rather. Uh, I think I, I don't think we've drilled more than like actually. You know what? That's off. It's we haven't we haven't gone drilled more than like four miles beneath the okay surface. Fourth molecular structure of water contained, huh? So it's like a. They just found new minerals, I guess. Uh, yeah. Waves weren't limited to the Earth's surface, but moving throughout the planet's core. Okay. 
What if the core isn't molten lava? So it's called ring ringwoodite. And it has just 1% of water in its molecular buildup. It would mean that it holds three times more water than all of the oceans on the Earth's surface. Wow. So what are they going to do with it? I don't know. They'll fucking figure out a way to get to it and then fuck up our world even more. That's fantastic. I, now I scroll down a little bit, a little bit below that, and there's an article about a solar tornado, 14 times larger than the Earth, erupted on the surface of the sun. Oh, the uh, that 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 black void that's uh, for there's a black void forming uh, in the middle of the sun. Oh, no, that? that's always good. It means it's dying out, right? No, no, no. It's got, we're going to get solar winds oh, that are supposed yeah. to be like 1. 1. 1.4 million miles per hour or some shit like that. Sweet. Uh, yeah, I know they, I know last year there was like warnings for solar flares, which I mean, it, there's, there's heightened times around the year that it's, you're more susceptible to have issues with solar flares. So when your phone stops working or you, it says you have 5g plus, but you realize that there's no birds around you and you can't send a text. Um, your radio cuts in and out. You just can't do things. You know, your, your uh, fucking mercury is, you know, into whatever that is retrograde. Cause you're an asparagus, what? whatever it, it is. The, uh, did you see the uh, like five planets are supposed to be aligned sometime this month? I did. That uh, that's pretty cool. I kind of want to get a telescope, but I don't know how often I would use it. So I don't want to buy like a nice one. I know they have ones that are like digital to where you can like type in the coordinates and it knows exactly where to look, which is yeah. Those are probably expensive, buddy. Yeah. One of our cousins has one of those. De- well, Debbie, uh, Druggy Deb, uh, Doobie, Doobie Deb. I like Doobie Deb better. Doobie Debs. Well, it's, oh no, it wasn't them. It was, uh, yeah, because Mike had one. But then another friend of ours that has the Steelers Dome, they have one that runs off of like rechargeable batteries, or you can run an extension cord to it. It was like 300 bucks. I'm like, eh. That's that's steep for something I'm probably never going to use. Um, but yeah, who knows? Can be a being a peeper get you on a registry nowadays? Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. Well, then you don't want to use it for that. No, I thought it'd be funny to or fun to like people watch at Nathan's when they're get like a mount for my phone and then you know start submitting some World Star videos when they start going at it. Maggie didn't think so. We uh, I also passed a really really nice leather couch with matching chair today in North Canton that was thrown out for trash. Mm. Peak condition. You could tell like the the cushions they were a little flat. But was it out there yesterday? I don't know. I didn't drive by yesterday. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that maybe maybe not. But it's leather or pleather, so it's holding up better than the couch in the backyard. I'm like man. Let's just throw that in the back of the truck right now. <laughs> throw that in the backyard, then it starts raining and stuff. If somebody starts slip sitting on it, they're gonna slip <laughs> right off. Well, Maggie, Maggie said she wanted to buy she showed me something on Amazon. It was like a it was like a black sheet or like a, a couch cover, and then she wanted to put plastic over top of it. And I'm like, that's just gonna trap mold. Like that's gonna be really bad. If anything, you need to put the the plastic down and then put the cover on it when you want to go sit on it. That way it's not as bad, and you can rewash the cover. She's like, "Nope, nope, I want to sit on the plastic." I'm like, "It's gonna get gross." Just saying. She didn't care. I might go back tomorrow because because it's a nice couch. I mean, I I don't see how you could pass up something so nice. So there was news today. I think it was reported maybe like two days ago, but I just read it today. Now brace yourself; you're gonna be shocked. Everybody, all of our listeners are gonna be shocked. Oh. Uh, I'm holding on. E3 was canceled again. No, damn it. That is just such a 
letdown. Can can they can they all agree that E three is dead? It's done. Quit trying to revive it. It's been what four years since they did it successfully. It's been longer than that that since they've had everybody in attendance. I mean, there's not really any point for it now. Like when it when it was up and running, it was great. It was it was something that uh, people look forward to. But now it's just kind of like, why, man? Like, all these companies have so much money in their marketing departments. Why do they want to go to E3 when they can put on their own showcase? Yeah. Which, which I haven't caught up with Microsoft. Uh, I don't think Sony's done their showcase yet. And the great thing about it is very little money from, you know, Sony and Microsoft goes can go into this. It's not like you have to hold this, that this big expo. You yeah. just fucking do it yeah. virtually. It's yeah. It, it's you pay what six people to to talk. Yeah, it's an hour long. So they've they've got I don't know ten lines, and then you show off the shit that you already clipped together that you're going to send to E3 anyway. And then mm-hmm. you don't have to set up a stage. You don't have to set up. Well, I, I think they still do. It's just on a smaller scale than they have it wherever but still yeah I, I don't know. it's that what I, what I would genuinely do if I if I'm uh, you know Nintendo Sony uh, Microsoft I would have I would I would license your like contract your like what top five to ten biggest gamers internationally have yeah. them come in do try out your games whatever you know run up play a demo or whatever you have on it or the you know i'm obviously probably the completed version but you know and then they review that shit for you yeah because they've got more more followers than you have you know combine yeah it so they did that with um the duty there was like a the last call of duty they had a pre-release weekend it was like two weeks before the game dropped. They invited a bunch of streamers out, which I guess was would have just been Activision that put this on or Blizzard. And they had a bunch of guys come out there and they were allowed to stream it, but it was only like multiplayer on, you know, two maps, limited guns. Then they did uh it might have been that or it might have been Warzone. I think it might have been Warzone. But that got more foot traffic than anything else. I mean, the three or four streamers I follow, I'm like, hell yeah, I watched all three of them. I'm like, yeah, this is pretty cool. But yeah, I think that would be a, a much better option. Start putting it in the hands of the people that people already watch. They don't know some old stiff white guy in a suit that says, "Oh, this is this is this is a game." No, put it in the put it in the hands of people that connect with the community. Like Doctor Disrespect, his game uh, just went out in like a pre beta, and people were loving it. It was great. So it'll, it'll be interesting to see how it goes forward. I, I don't know why they haven't just come together and done like, I'm pretty sure they have a streamer awards. I think unless that's part of the video game awards, which it might be, but I don't know why the, the streamers haven't just come together and been like, yo, we're going to do a streaming showcase. And here's clips of us playing unreleased games or, you know, pre alpha versions of that new hotness. Mark my words, it's coming. It'll be great. Speaking of nerdy things, seeing Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. How um, was that? Thursday. I, I enjoyed it. It was very good. Um, Maggie even said she liked it. Uh, she she even shed a tear. She wept at one of the sadder parts of the movie. Yeah, it's probably because she was on her period. But either way, I mean, it... Hook, line, and sinker got her in there. It was, it was just nerdy enough to be like, Haha, I understand those references because I play D and D, and it wasn't too nerdy to where Maggie was like, I don't know what's going on. Like none of this shit makes any sense. Chris Pine played an excellent bard, did very well with how everything works. It was really cool to see the chemistry of the party together. Um, it, I thought it was really well done, and I look forward to there being more which i think they said they already have a sequel slotted it just depended on 
box office numbers or whatever, which I believe it fell right where it needed to be. It was predicted to make like 33 million to 40 million, something like that. And it came in at like 38. They're boasting a big, big thing. Oh, it beat out John Wick. I'm like, nah, guy. It beat out John Wick the, a week after John Wick came out. I'm like, but opening numbers. Fuck, I think John Wick did like 150 million worldwide in box office. John Wick did, or uh, Dungeons and Dragons did like 70. Get out of here. You ain't touching my boy. You ain't, you ain't touching old Johnny Dubs. Prick. Speaking of dubs, you know who didn't get a dub last night? Logan Paul. Ha <laughs> ha! Suck it, Logan Paul. You fuck. WrestleMania 39. I've seen the, the highlights of that. Uh, so the big news announced by MSNBC, apparently uh, a sale is imminent to the UFC's parent company. For, for WWE. WWE? Wow. Yeah. Uh, expected to possibly even be announced as early as tomorrow. No shit. I wonder. Uh, I wonder what that'll do for it. I don't know. Who owns we'll it see. currently? Uh, the McMahon's. McMahon's still okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I think uh I think the listing price on that was like something like nine billion dollars. So we'll see if they got anywhere near that. That's it's a lot of that's a nice payday. Yeah. That's a that's a lot of beer. Yeah. Shit. Huh. That'd be interesting. I seen uh Ray Mysterio came pulling up with Snoop Dogg and a low rider for Eddie Guerrero. That was that was pretty cool. That was cool. Um, made me really want to play. I've been seeing a lot of things on Facebook <clears throat> from like the PS1, PS2, WWE, WWF wrestling games. Um, all the ones I used to play back in the day when the graphics were absolute dog shite, and you're just like, "Wow, this is the coolest thing ever!" I remember learning all the buttons that the uh, the Steiner recliner, trying to figure out how to do all that, and it was. I'm like, man. Now I kind of want to play 2K23 or yeah. Yeah, 2K23. That's that's next on my purchase list. You played the one was that last year? Yeah. 2K22, very very good, very much an improvement. Uh and everybody I've seen just you know rave reviews on 23 so far so Yeah, I'm like, damn that that sounds kind of sweet. I I shit, I haven't played a wrestling game since those those mentioned games there, so that was 20 years ago night Probably two longer. is tonight so i'll be watching that yeah. hopefully i can night one did not go off until almost midnight i gotta be up at, for work at, again at like three o'clock in the morning oh, so we'll see we'll see how this goes now how do they set wrestlemania up is it because I've, I've never actually watched a full one is it they, they have slotted matches at different times and then that's the roster of how they do it until the, yeah. the title match yeah, and then, you know, the last few years, I think now, four four years now, they've been running two nights a week, or two not two nights uh, for WrestleMania weekend. So, I mean, you're looking at somewhere around 11, 11 to 12 matches a night. Damn. Or 11 to 12 matches total. Okay. About six every, five or six every night. I think That's they sweet. got five slotted for tonight. So, I'm hoping it's not... Midnight. That long, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've seen they did a lot of this stuff, uh, like the inductions into the Hall of Fame and stuff, too. Yeah, they uh, did beforehand. that. They've been doing that, like, right after SmackDown goes off the air. Oh, cool. That's sweet. Damn, maybe I'll have to... Uh, nah, I've got I've got too many games I need to play. It's ridiculous. I went, I went today, like, it reminded me that I still have Pokemon on the Switch that I need to play. <laughs> I played it for like an hour and a half, and then I haven't played it since like August. <clears throat> I'm like, damn. We walked into uh, the nerd shop tonight, and I got some new dice for the D and D campaign we started today. And I had my I had my guy with me. It's the dude we brought down for your mom's surprise party mm -hmm. that one time. And uh, <laughs> we're walking in there, and he's he's you know talking to everybody. I'm like, hey, quit 
quit, you know, getting in their faces and like he means well, but he's just annoying and doesn't he doesn't know how to just like, hey, look from afar. So these guys are going through and they're sorting like all their miniatures and everything for 40k and they're they're like taking an inventory and he's just standing there. Hey guys, hey, what you got there? What are you doing? Can I see? I'm like, get the back the fuck up, guy. Come on. What do you got there? I want to see it. And they're like trying to count and like meticulously keep track and inventory of everything that's going on. I'm like, oh my bad. So as we shift right over to the the checkout, I'm like, hey, yeah, just these dice. Like, let's let's get it going. He's asking questions about all this other shit and yelling, starting to wander. I'm like, do not wander off. You're gonna start asking people random shit, and I'm not explaining that. So as we leave, he goes, "Bye, guys," and proceeds to rip the loudest fart I've ever heard in my life. Like it was just, it echoed. And I finally got him out into like the the Fourier or whatever, and he's like, "Oh man, that stinks real bad." I'm like, "Yeah, that's that's pretty fucking rough, dude." And he just cropped us at the entire store. He's like, "Can we go upstairs and look at Pokemon cards?" I'm like, "Yeah," I said, but. Don't be getting in people's faces up there. They're, they got stuff to do. We get up there, we start looking at cards, and he's walking up and down, walking up and down. I hear him from like three cases down start to fart and walk towards me past like, I don't know, there's probably 15, 20 people up there. And he comes over and he goes, ah, farts again and goes back to looking at cards. I'm like, dude, I'm like, you're going to shit your pants. Like, you don't have control over that muscle. You're going to make a mess and you're going to have to ride in the bed of the truck home. Oh, that's okay. And he gets the walking farts going down the steps. I'm like, dude, this guy's gonna shit his pants. I'm like, I'm taking you home right now. I'm not. I'm not waiting another hour and a half. I can't do it. You gotta go. But then that then that kind of sparked a thing in me. Like, man, I haven't played a good card game in a while. You know, never never really did any of the deck building games like Magic or Yu Gi Oh or any of that. I had all the cards, just never never really played them. Hmm. And I talked to Godson. And he's like, oh, man, I need to go get some more cards. And I'm like, oh, you're in it? He goes, yeah. He goes, we can start playing. I'm like, ah, oh, shit. I'm going to get schooled. I don't want to do that. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Exciting news, BT Dubs. The Eagles has now officially given us a weekly drink special night. Mondays, $1.50 cans of Bush Light or Bush Heavy. <sighs> They asked us on Friday when I was – well, I went in there. I stopped in there after work. I'm like, hey, we got a question for you. I'm like, yeah, yeah, what's going on? Like, how do you feel about bush light in, in a can? I'm like, same as I do a bottle. If it's cold, it's going down. And they're like, okay, well, how does $1.50 sound in a can? I'm like, I, you're, you're, talking to my, you're talking to me. I, I like it. Bring on the sweetness. He goes, cool. Every Monday night now, that's going to be our special. I'm like, ha, fuck it in. And this other dude goes, well, we don't, we wanted to make sure, you know, it's not bottles. I'm like, dude, it doesn't matter if it's bottles or not. It's a dollar fifty beer is a dollar fifty beer. He goes, well, I figured you might, you know, bring in some friends and you guys. How many drink? How many cases are you bringing in for this this uh, festivity here? I know, and if it's going to be in all the time, I think I think what was going on was we may or may not have been drinking a little too heavily, and we we put a hurting on their on their bottle stock. And you can't. You, it's very rare, very rare that you find bush light bottles here. There's one gas station I know of that sells it, and every once in a while you can catch it at like Walmart or something like that. But it's usually just the cans. So I think what they're they're catching on to, they're like, oh shit, we can get a thirty pack for our price is like sixteen dollars. We're gonna charge a buck fifty, and we're gonna make thirty bucks off of it or twenty bucks, whatever it is. And these guys would be drunk as a skunk, and they don't care. I'm like, fuck yeah, man, bring it on. So. Look forward to uh, cracking a few cold lattes Monday. I hit for two hundred and fifty bucks on one pool tab Friday night. It was nice. I had to split it with the guy next to me because we both said we'd go split skis. I shouldn't have. I should have just pocketed that shit. But it was a good time. Went and seen a band at Nathan's. It, uh, it was quite nice. Quite nice. It's nice to become uh, one of the old folk in there. Now, I tried to buy in on a poker game. And they're like, "Oh, it's fifty bucks." This lady got shitty with me. I'm like, "You guys remember me from St. Patty's Day?" I said, "I swear I'm not as drunk as I was that night." I'm like, "Is it still a twenty dollars buy-in?" She goes, "No, get out of here." I'm like, "God damn!" The guy's like, "Oh no, it's 
it's 50 right now. We're kind of winding down, getting ready to be done. I'm like, oh, okay. And she's like, yeah, whatever. And I'm like, yeah, fuck you, lady. I'm going to give you my money anyway. So then I took that 20 over, put it in on the tickets, and hit for 250 and I flipped that bitch off from across the bar. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> whatever your name was. Probably Karen. She must not have. She must not have stuck around very long because she went over to the machines and looked like she lost there too. So, fucking loser. But they are thinking about doing a monthly poker game there. I'm like, well, sign me up, Scotty. I'm in. Let's do it. Um, I'm trying to think of other things that we can do there that that's like a, you know, people would want to do, other than like cornhole or. Uh, because they had talked about expanding and like making a larger patio. Um, so I don't, I don't know what I mentioned, you know, like flip clap and beer pong because I'm 30 years younger than the uh, youngest person that goes in there now. I'm like, yeah, you know, maybe we could do something else. I was going to say like Mario Kart, but I don't think any of those guys know how to play video games. <clears throat> so. It's probably just going to be cards. We are uh, here by five weeks out from the next guys weekend. Ooh, it's it's yeah, it's coming quick. That that this could end up being either the best or worst guys weekend possible. Yeah, I'm on the fence as to Logan's idea. He had that last Monday when we were here at the house. We did a little soft opening of SDHI. And he's like, wow, you know, a keg of Modelo would be great. I'm like, yeah. Yes and no. Like, it's going to have to, like, sit for a little while because it's going to get shook the fuck up on the way up there. I have to keep it cold. It's only 160 beers. Are we going to get tired of drinking Modelo? Are we going to have enough limes? I mean, I get it. It's Cinco de Mayo. I mean, we can add keg stands to the. Uh... <laughs> oh Christ! I mean, yeah, it, there's there's positives to this as well, but. Oh man, I don't know. I, I guess what everybody else wants to do, it doesn't bother me either way. I mean, cold beer is cold beer. Uh, we can a, a weekend of Mexican food. Oh man, R.I.P. Our lower intestinal tract. So we, I mean, Tice and I crushed a keg. Uh, the last, the last kegger we had at his parents' house. In a matter of, I don't know, we started at ten a.m. and we were probably done by six thirty-seven. There were a few people that showed up afterwards to help. Will had a few, but it's not about finishing the keg because we can definitely do that. It's just, do we want to? <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind cutting up a bunch of limes either. Because I gotta have lime with my beer. We're gonna have. I'm gonna do uh, the queso. Um, honestly, we should just do like a bunch of quesadillas. Probably we'll have a flat top if we can get it up there. Uh, I'll go up to uh, JR's up here and see what they have. I know they have like bulk quesadilla. Uh, bags up here, so take a look up there. Uh, I can get like a, <laughs> I get a can of nacho cheese. You know, oh. <laughs> those those big old cans they used for like uh, yep. the, the, the concessions at the fucking high school. Well, yeah, and we'll just leave it on the stove the entire weekend on low, so it's always <laughs> uh, it's always <laughs> always warm, but never quite burnt. You just you kind of just scrape that crusty layer off the top and <laughs> mix it around a little bit yeah oh that's just it's diarrhea i like it see if i can get um, bring up some uh carnitas oh yeah mm. Mm. yeah so we definitely have to have a flat top up there that, it, i wonder i wonder if doctors can reroute your bowels to shit out of a new butthole because ours are going to be wrecked that weekend. Yeah, it's called a colostomy bag. It's, it's mm. messy. <laughs> yeah, so we got to get together. To, well, we'll we'll have the text here this probably this coming week to 
to narrow things down. But I was telling Tyus and Magoo, I'm like, hey, we got to throw together the, uh, the slush fund for new pillows from Sam's Club. I'm like, Tyus, get the get the uh, the prices because them other ones are fucking terrible. I want to have somebody get some nice toilet paper too. I think Mike said he'd bring some up. May or may not be making a run up to Sam's Club before I come up to that day. Solid. Should be up there. I may, I may take that Friday off again, depending on. Uh, That's a great idea. See if they they have a replacement for my uh, other manager, because uh, right now I'm pulling double duty. So we'll see. But Lift if I eggs. if I can, I might take that Friday off. I was originally supposed to have tomorrow off, but ended up having to cancel tomorrow off. Ah, bastards. Yeah, I think uh, I think everybody will be up. Me, me, Magoo, and Tice will be there Thursday, like we were, and then everybody else will be up Friday afternoonish. I think I haven't heard from Hat Marger, but I think he might be gracing us with his presence. I also may or may not be bringing uh, Stinky Rob. Stinky Rob, all right. You gotta get him back on the old potty. Uh, Mike Raider's brother was gonna come up, but or brother-in-law, but. Uh, he gave some sad ass excuse that it's too close to his wife's due date or some shit like that. I'm like, come on, man, that kid will be there when you get back. He ain't even gonna know who you are for how the first close? Year. Are we are we talking? Are we talking within like two weeks? If it's that, I think you're safe. Yeah, I think they're. I think the due like dates. The due the, dates like Monday. It's like eh. the 11th. Oh, I'm like, dude, we'll be come home. on. The 17th. Yeah. It was. It was like that. It, it's that week. I mean it. Those, those kids never do anything early. Yeah. I'm like, you'll be all right. I'm like, what are you going to miss? That have to take pictures. You know? You'll be okay. Yeah. So uh, she, she, Let her, she'll, let she'll her deal that. with packing the baby up and taking it home and, you know, putting everything in the house, you know? Even Fuck. if by chance she goes into labor, let's say Sunday, chances are that baby's not coming out until, like, Monday evening. Right. What, are you going to have a fucking two-hour labor? Like, you couldn't just drive home? Exactly. Get out of here. Exactly. Right. Shit. Take a couple beers with you. Yeah. Shake the head shows. Hell yeah. Ho- hospital beers. We'll still count them. Yeah, correct. <laughs> those, those still count. So he won't uh, he won't make it up this time. Probably not the time after that either, because you know, like Christian and his his deal was the baby has to be able to hold its head up before he can come up there again, which <laughs> not sure why, but okay. The, ba- um, the baby needs to be 35 before I can come up there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm like, all right, well, y- your one baby's good. And I said, then you-, you fucked around and pumped another one into her. And she just spit that little crotch goblin out. I'm like, so what are you going to do now? He's like, well, we're we're building the house. And I'm like, oh, all right. So you can't come up. All right. That's fine. Listen, I don't, I don't need to hear the excuses. When you want to come around and hang out and. I mean, even, your even balls Logan's out talking about coming back up and it's not even his scene. It's just, yeah, it's true. I think it's I think it's because he's single. He says he's not single, and then he's 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 always calling her and telling he loves her, and just it's that it's that video. Hi, I, would say. I was just calling to tell you that I love you and I miss you. Hi. Every single time I'm like, uh, okay, uh, that sounds familiar. Didn't that happen to the other guy that with that guy's weekend who's calling his ex? Oh Talking yeah, Jacob. Much, yeah, yeah. After after he was given a handy to Logan, allegedly. <laughs> so funny thing, he when he called his ex, he ended up dating some new girl that week. <laughs> and they're and they're still together. Like that was what, two years ago? Last year? Year ago? Mm-hmm. I'm like, shit, man. What are you doing? I haven't seen that kid in a while. I think him and Logan had a falling out. Mm. He he probably was he was probably paying more attention to his girlfriend than Logan, and Logan got upset and you're, you're the callus on your hand rubbed me raw. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, my girlfriend's really not cool with us kissing anymore. So, <laughs> that was the end so of that. she told me that if you do suck a dick, it means you're gay. <laughs> yeah, she was tired of finding all the crusty stuff on my clothes. <laughs> she always said my kisses taste is funny. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Logan will probably have some excuse to where he can't make it up. I mean, whatever. So that's why I'm really not relying on if if we tell him to get a keg, 
and and he actually does get it, then he will show up. But if not, yeah, yeah. Or or I'll just have him order it, and I'll take it up and be like, "Sorry, guy. Oh, I need paid for that." Well, I guess you should have came up and drank it, fucker. We'll see. He might be there, but he's driving on his own this time, which he explicitly told us. You know, I'm like, oh, so you could fucking dip out Saturday? All right, cool. No, hey, I'll I say I bought, I bought something specifically for my recuperative power powers for yeah. that weekend. What'd you get, little Sam's Club? A, a thirty pack of liquid IV for like eighteen bucks. Yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff there. Uh, it'll it'll do you right. I, I think we're going to the Eagles again on Thursday, so I'd like to go and uh, and do that again. Trying to trying to explain to Rob the new the new weekend tradition. Yeah, it is not us uh, saying sat stagnant up at the cabin. You know, yeah. go out do eat eat at uh, uh what what's the what's the place Sportsman's we go club. to first? Yeah, at the Sportsman's Club. And then we go over and play a little shuffleboard. Get our nuts off on some at the hickory nut. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Get our shuff on. The disruptor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm excited for that, you know. I haven't shuffed in a while. Um shuffleboard's oh, we gotta... my new favorite thing I look forward to now, guys yeah, weekend. It's, yeah, it's great. Like I dream about it. Like I almost want to get uh new discs made for for us. <laughs> Just order. All right, I might order my own, <laughs> and I'll bring them up there. Yeah. Like, I keep, yeah, I don't have to put my ID in here. These are mine, bitch. <laughs> get her own. Get her own. Uh, uh, sand to put on the on the board. Yeah, I'll look into it. And maybe we'll just because then I could just leave that set up there with a with a canister of that silica gel that you're not supposed to. Oh eat. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look this up. Do we have time to get matching polos made or bowling shirts with like GWP SBT? Oh, Possibly, shit. I can put it in order. <laughs> I know, I know a person that would be fucking sweet. But they got to be like the I'm thinking the like the Charlie Sheen shirts from uh, Two and a Half Men. That'd be so cool. Gotta get, bust out a wrist brace. Maybe an elbow brace. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be so cool. We got to see if Willis wants to come down this time, since he didn't last time. I don't think Chuck will be joining us. Uh, he's still recuperating from, from having that no kidney. and uh, he's, he's three months sober now. We, we officially ruined somebody at the cabin. He's medically retired <laughs> from drinking. So. Well... So they do, they have personalized custom shuffleboard pucks. You can put you can put logos in the middle. Oh, that's cool as shit. Oh boy. Oh, how much we can pick different colors. So we can we can put the logo in the middle of these fucking pucks. That's awesome. Pucks take two weeks from payment to delivery. Oh, so if I order them right now, I'll have them in like two weeks. <laughs> hmm. That's uh, these a very... is a this is a pretty pr- <laughs> this, this is a pretty big price tag though. Is it over a hundred dollars? Yes. Is it over $200? Uh, depends. Okay. Yikes. Maybe that'll be our next slush fund purchase when we. Oh, well, I'll get the t shirts first. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gonna get shuffed up. Yeah. We got to see if Alex has gotten any further on the uh, shuffleboard movie. I don't remember what the name of it was. I'm drawing a blank. But let's see if he's got a script made. Maybe we shoot some some glamour shots, some B-roll while we're up there this time. Mm. You know? I'll clear some space on my phone. And I can't. I want to get this crowdfunded. <laughs> we got to come up with a really kick-ass trailer. We only need like 90 seconds. Get the get the guy. 
that does voices all the action commercials. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. But it's just In some world dude at the bar. <laughs> where shuffleboard has been outlawed. Yeah. And it just like it like cuts to like a, a dusty, dim, like lower calf or like lower knee walking, and you see like the shuffleboard in the background just holding your sack of pucks. <laughs> we gotta have like that uh almost like that kingpin moment, you know, but like yeah. where the, the 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 ragged old retired uh shuffleboard player, you know. Takes the takes the tarp off of his dusty old board in his garage for the first yep. time in years. Yep. Cuts to a cuts to a scene at one of the last tournaments he was at, and he's getting drug outside and beat up in the parking lot or something. <laughs> we can just beat up Magoo. <laughs> <laughs> we can't beat up Godson because then it looks like we're racist. <laughs> That'd be great. All right, Alex, jot this down. We're gonna shoot some B roll while we're up there. We gotta be a little loose when we do it, though. And then we'll 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 do a little voiceover work. And it'll be perfect. No, it's gonna be beautiful. So cool. It, it, listen, if we can if we can slap together a ninety second preview, like video editing and all that, would be that'd be so cool. So cool. That'd be great. I don't know where we're gonna get the crowd because I don't think the people at the Hickory Nut are gonna are really gonna do it. We're gonna have to just use some like copyrighted shit offline for like. Stadium no, I'm, crowds I'm, and stuff. I, I guarantee you we can find something. True. It might be a little busier up there. Just go around. Maybe not. We'll, yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Semantics. Yeah. We really just need, you know, a few shots of, of what we need to do, an outline of, like, what we're trying to convey in the movie, and then we write the scenes from that, and then we just start filming. I cannot wait. It's gonna be great. We'll get we'll get John to be like it's like a flash forward. So we're telling the movie from like back in the day, and John's like the main character, except he's old and retired now. <laughs> Seventy nine <laughs> years old. It was uh, thirty years ago or so. <laughs> I told that guy I was just jerking him off. Just jerked off the wrong guy. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, yeah. So for Brandon Parks, I am Josh Cheney. This was the Guys Weekend Podcast. Good night. Don't jerk me off, bro.